Hi, today you will learn how to create this beautiful yet simple title slide design in PowerPoint. You will learn some very useful and interesting tricks to come up with this kind of a design. I'll explain to you why I made different design decisions so you can apply the same ideas to create your own slide title designs. By the way, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We help professionals like you create engaging presentations. The first step is to create the basic layout. For that, I'm going to use one shape and the variations of that shape. Let us go to rectangles and use this one called as rectangle top corners rounded. And this is the shape that we are going to use. Let me move this yellow handle to the center so we have full curvature on one side. Now let me go to rotate and say rotate left 90 degrees and I'm going to place this over here and let me extend this and this will be the place, this will be our text placeholder where we will have our title written. We don't need the outline for this. The next step is to insert an isolated image. Since this is going to be about athletics, I want to insert a picture related to athletics. Of course, you can choose pictures from any place you want. I'm just using one of the stock images available directly inside PowerPoint. I'm using Microsoft 365, so we have this option available for us. Let us search for an athlete and hit enter. And let us see what kind of options we have here. There are quite a few very interesting ones. We can use this or we can use this. This one looks pretty good. So let me select that and say insert. Now I need to remove the background so I can isolate this image. PowerPoint allows us to remove the background by going to picture format, remove background option. Now we have this result as soon as I clicked on remove background. Now I need to remove the background from certain other places as well. So I can go to mark areas to remove here. And you can see my cursor has now turned into a crayon. I can just click and drag my cursor across and you can see that all these areas are now considered as part of the background. I also see that certain portion here is also considered as part of the background and that is not what we want here. So let me go to mark areas to keep and let me draw around this area so I can reclaim this back as part of the picture. Now that looks pretty neat and I can say keep changes. Now we have a beautiful image. The next thing I'm going to do is to add shadow to this. So I can right click, go to format picture, go to shadow and then go to presets and use this one called as offset bottom right. I can increase the size of this shadow. Now this is a little too much. So this is perfect. So this one pops out of the slide and that is the effect I am looking for. Now I can keep this to this side and we will have a nice looking design but it may not look visually that pleasing. So I want to break this white space with a couple of other colors. So first let me make this a little more manageable by going to crop and then cropping all the unnecessary portion out so it is easy for me to work with this image. And then let me make a variation of this shape. Let me press Ctrl D to create a duplicate. Go to rotate and say rotate left 90 degrees and I'm going to place it over here. Let me zoom out a little. And then I'm going to place this around here and then increase the size like so, so that it covers a part of the image like this. Then I need to send this to back. So that is a good one. Now everything here is rounded so I can add a circle as well. So let me go to the oval shape and then hold the shift button down and draw a circle. And I can place the circle somewhere over here. Right click and send this to back. Now, how did I choose the size of this? It is completely up to you. These are some of the decisions that you take. You can have it in any size you want. I can reduce the size like this. All I wanted was to see to it that a part of this image is jutting out of it to add that bit of dynamic look and feel. I can make this slightly wider. So everything looks far better now. The next thing I'm going to do is to make this more colorful. Now, how do I choose the colors for this? I went to Google and searched for color palette for sports and I found a lot of results. I found this result to be quite nice. So I went to this and then I visited the page and this was the color palette that it showed. We have the hex code and the RGB values available fortunately. I don't normally use any of this because I want to make this much simpler for myself. So I can go to Windows Shift S shortcut so I can just take this piece and go here and paste it. All I did, let me repeat that again. 
I used Windows Shift S, which is the shortcut for snipping a part of the screen. And I selected this area. So I have all these colors selected and I pasted it over here. Now, how am I going to use these colors for this design? It's very simple. First, let us have the background color in the blue one because you can see that there is a bit of reflection. If, I, if you really go closer, there is a bit of reflection of blue on this guy. So we need to use some kind of a blue in the background. So that is what is the basic idea. So let me right click on the empty space, go to format background and then use color and use this eyedropper tool. When I click on it and then put my cursor over this particular color, I can immediately pick that color and that forms the background. Nice. Now what should be the color for this one? I can pick this color. So let me select this shape. Then I can go to color, eyedropper and I can pick this color. Now that looks pretty beautiful. And then let us choose this circle. I can zoom out slightly so it is easy for me to access this particular image. And then let me move my cursor over so I can select just the circle and then go to the same color option, go to eyedropper and use this red color. Beautiful. I don't need an outline for this. And all of this looks really beautiful. Only this needs to be changed. So let me select this, go to color eyedropper and I can use this dark color. Now we have used all the colors in this palette. Let me delete this. We don't need it anymore. Now this already looks very beautiful. Now I need to write my text here. So let me go to fit slide to current window so I can see what I am going to write. Let me pick up this text and I'm going to say your title here. Since this is something related with sports energy, we need to have fonts which reflect that kind of an energy. I went to Google fonts and then searched for some kind of a font for display and looked for something that might suit a sport kind of a feel. So when I went down, I could see that there were quite a few very interesting options available and I found Orbitron to be the right one. So I clicked on this and this was the font. It looked perfect. So I went to get font. I downloaded the font. I right clicked, went to open with WinRAR and then I double clicked on this one called as Orbitron variable font and I installed that font. Once you install the font, you need to close and open PowerPoint again. Since I've already installed, I don't really have to do that. So let us select this text and then use Orbitron font. I'm going to use this one called as Orbitron Black. Increase the size a little more. Make it into a contrasting font color. And I can place this over here. And then let us write our subtitle text. To write the subtitle text, I'm going to separate the title from the subtitle. So I just want to draw a line like this that extends all the way out and let us have this in the same white color and then let us pick up the text box tool and then write your subtitle text here and once again I can choose the same font or I can choose something light maybe I can use Amasis Pro Lite increase the font size a little bit make it contrasting and then I can place it over here and make sure that this the line and the subtitle text are all aligned to the left so it all looks neat. Now we've got even our title and subtitle written. I somehow feel there might be a need for us to actually draw the viewer's attention to this title because this guy is looking somewhere over here. I want the audience to look at this. So let us go to insert, go to icons, let us search for arrow and hit enter and uh, I could see that there are quite a few very interesting arrows here. Let me choose this one and say insert and let us have the graphics fill to be white in color and I can place it over here. Now the audience will naturally look at this and not here. So that is the basic idea. So what I'm trying to tell you is every single decision that we are taking here has a base for it. And that is the difference between a decent looking slide design and the other ones. And now we have got our title slide. It looks really beautiful. Now we need to add a little bit of motion to this. For that I'm going to use morph transition because it makes it so much easier. Of course you can use a very simple fly in animation as well. Everything works. I'm using morph transition just because it's easy. So let me select this and duplicate the slide. Then go back to the first slide and then zoom out. 
and you bring everything out of the slide area. Now this guy needs to be placed somewhere over here. So when he comes into the scene, it looks as if he is jumping into the scene. So that is the idea. Let us move this from this direction. Let us have this coming from down direction. Let us have this background come from right. And we will have this coming from here. We will have this coming from here and this one coming from down and this one coming from here. So all I did is I just made sure that everything is outside the slide area. And then to the next one, I'm going to apply morph transition and then everything comes together. Can you see this is the first slide? Let us go to slideshow. This is how it looks. On a click, we have everything coming in and that makes it a beautiful design. If you're a professional and you need to hone your PowerPoint skills, then you can take a look at our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, which is an easy to follow, comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program. The link is in the description box below the video. If you liked this tutorial, then you will really like this other tutorial that I put together called Create Beautiful Infographic Poster in PowerPoint for your blog and Pinterest. It'll teach you some very interesting tips and tricks that will help you create better slide design. I will leave a link to this right on your screen. You can click on that link and watch this video next. And if you want to join our 25 creative PowerPoint ideas, free five day email mini training, you can click on the link here. You will get 25 useful and practical PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next business presentation. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course, and I will see you inside.